Mexicans often celebrate Cinco de Mayo with lots of food, drinks, and partying. The day has deep history for Mexico. It does. Cinco de Mayo is sometimes mistaken for Mexico's Independence Day. It's not. That's September 16th, yes, he says. But Cinco de Mayo commemorates the Battle of Puebla, which happened in 1862, more than 50 years after Mexico declared independence. Mexico's soldiers were outnumbered and the French were better equipped, but Mexico still won. Cinco de Mayo celebrates that victory. And the first Cinco de Mayo celebration in the U.S. dates back to 1862 when Mexico defeated that French army, and that celebration actually took place in a small town in the foothills of Tuolumne County. How about that? And research shows when people found out about Mexico's victory, a spontaneous celebration broke out in the town of Columbia. KCRA 3's Josie Hart joining us live now from Columbia, where people are getting ready to celebrate all that history. Josie. Yes, and the story is true, and we have the receipts to show for it. Everything was documented on these old newspaper clippings that we have here. So as you can imagine, to the people of this town, this holiday isn't just about celebrating a piece of Mexican history, but it's also about celebrating a piece of their own history. This small gold mining town of Colombia has a story to tell, one that many probably haven't heard before. This was the first documented place in 1862 that erupted in spontaneous celebration of the victory of the Mexican soldiers over the soldiers of Napoleon in Pueblo in 1862. And so we wanted to bring that, uh, that theme back. Balin describes an old newspaper clipping which stated that in 1862, the folks here in Tuolumne County, who she says were predominantly Latino at the time, received the news of the Mexican Army's victory. And this was how the celebration was described. So what we do know from a newspaper article in La Voz de Mexico, which was out of San Francisco, was that they, um, they, they had speeches, they had music, they had dancing, and they uh, got out the cannons, and, and uh, they also shot a salvo of celebratory uh, gunfire. Today, Colombia is hosting its second annual Cinco de Mayo celebration at its state park with art, dance, and Latin jazz. For event organizers, this event is not just about the colors, food, and music. The importance for me is to see the parallels between Mexico and the United States. The a struggle for democracy, the struggle for universal values. But about educating the public on this piece of history and sending a message about cultural embrace. For me, it's, um, it's much more than just the Battle of Puebla, which is very important, but it's what it symbolizes, because the symbol is about community. It is about the love for everyone, the universal values that hold our democracy. And the festivities are set to kick off very soon in the next few minutes. This will be going until about 10 o'clock tonight, but there's also an opportunity for folks to come out tomorrow during the day for another celebration out here. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News.